Welcome back to Locust Valley Farms. Today we're going to be going to Amish country and picking up some doors and then I got to take a tractor to a friend's shop at a clutcher place and maybe go fix the truck after that if I, if I have time. I'm out moving the sheep. You guys know the drill on this one. It, you know, it gets a little repetitive. So we're just going to go ahead and get them moved and then we'll pretty much be ready to go. Got to move over to the next paddock here. So they will be good for today. Okay, this is that cheap truck I bought. Probably gonna end up selling it. Um, but this little guy right here, let me change that out. Got the new one. Uh, there it is. Get a new one right here. Haven't been able to film much today. Just been on the road a lot. That's what we need right there. All right, so just got back from working on that truck that I bought. Um, that's also going to be for sale relatively soon. Um, that I got, I got the wrong part. The wrong part came in, so going to have to get something else to make that work. I'm still talking funny because of my sores in my mouth. They're getting pretty old. Um, anyways, getting a pole barn built here tomorrow. I got to get that dirt moved, that pressure washer moved, um, and then all this crap's gotta go too, unfortunately, which means that this ram has to be moved, which is gonna be a really big pain. Um, so, in other words, I'm gonna take out these T-posts here and start setting up a fence over there, just a little pin over there that he can go in. Isn't that right? Cause you can't be trusted in there cause you'll go breed things you shouldn't breed and just be an idiot. You know, if he would stay in an actual electric fence, then then we would not have this issue at all. This would be fine. But he won't say him one, so this is what you get. I've got enough pulled up here to get a decent start on building. The sun is fading rapidly, so I've got to make this somewhat quick. Okay, so we have a gate right here, just just over here from there, so not very far of a move, but gotta get this all secured to T-post and somewhat of a pin. rainbow though.
we got them in. The U-shape seems to be pretty good. I got, what, five, six C-posts here? Six, and uh, seems working well. I got my gate here, but I zip tied it shut. That way he can't get out. He's got grass for now until he eats it all. And you know, the reason he's in here is, I don't know if I made it clear yet or not. This ram is mean. He's very mean towards people, towards other animals. He is not nice. I'm trying to sell him. If he does not sell, he's going to the butcher. And I hate to do that to him because he's young, but he's just, his behavior is not acceptable on really any farm, especially mine. So this is not something I can tolerate anymore. And I've given him so many chances and tried to train him, but he just refuses to listen. So this is what he gets. Play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Overall, it's fairly sturdy. Like I've got a bag of zip ties right here. I can go around and stiffen it up if I need to. So we'll put one here and then a few around there and it'll be good. But I mean, overall it's, it's sturdy. These are zip tied good, so. I don't think he's gonna move it anywhere. And the cockeyed posts are something you'll just have to get used to seeing. There are so many rocks in this field, it is unreal. It's a fill field, so it's made of rock, but you, you, you can't hardly get a straight post in. I got lucky with these three. That one, that one, and that one. But the rest are crooked, and a lot of posts around here are crooked that are that are being hand-driven in because you, you, you can't go through these rocks and you gotta go alongside them. So they end up like that, but you know, they're still in the ground and they're still doing their job, so who cares? Well, I know it's hard to see with what little sum we have left, but there's no more pins here. The pins that were here are gone where Jack was, roof's gone. Uh, all the cattle panel and stuff's over there on the other side of the garage, and I've got countless T-posts, all sorts of wood, a sprayer, and all sorts of crap in the bed of the ranger here, so. Loaded down, but no, that's not it. We still got more to do. This dirt here, I know you can't really see, but gotta move some stuff and dig more of that out. Can't really film that, because it's dark, but I'll uh, do progress updates. Okay, it's about 10 o'clock now, and I know you can't see much, and you probably can't tell a difference, but all along here, this is dug back about a foot, and in summer, it's about three foot more than it was. So that's what I need to accomplish. We got it done. It's been a very, very long day. Tomorrow's gonna be an even longer one. Uh, got all sorts of crap to do here, and then my friend has a graduation party sleepover thing, so. That will probably keep me up for a while. So I suspect I'll be pretty tired on Saturday, but uh, you know, that's just the way it is. So uh, you can't see my face. So Poochel, the kitty cat, I know, weird name, but she's gonna say goodbye to you for me. So uh, thanks for watching this uh, mediocre video and have a great day.